Hi, my name is Alicia Perch, and my pronouns are they, them, and theirs. My name is Alicia, which means noble one. I am a part of the Christian Church Disciples of Christ, and we call ourselves a movement for wholeness in a fragmented world. I am honored to serve as a council member with the Disciples Alliance Q, which is an organization that exists to create intentional relationship. Names have meaning. What we call something or someone implicitly or explicitly speaks to our feeling regarding those folks or those organizations. And in the same way, choosing not to name something or someone is a powerful decision to make. One of the ministry elements of the Disciples Alliance Q is open and affirming ministries. What does open and affirming mean? Well, I will respond to that question by sharing another question that I think gets to the heart of the search for each unique context's own perspective on what it means to be open and affirming. And the question really is, what are we as a congregation, as a ministry, as an educational institution, what are we doing to actively embody the expansive welcome and affirmation for all people that is reflective of the all-encompassing love of God. So as Alliance Q and as a denomination, we ask congregations and ministries to mull over and respond to this question. And they respond in a form of an open and affirming statement, or some folks call it a welcome statement. It is a way to share the heart of the congregation or the ministry. It is a discerned and articulated reflection of the present reality as well as what might the future be. You may be wondering though, what is so important about making a statement, a welcome statement, an open and affirming statement if my church already welcomes everyone? Well, because Jesus models for us the practice of intentionality and of calling people by their names. He calls Mary by name after the resurrection when in her grief she is searching for meaning. And during a confusing time she is searching for truth in John chapter 20. And Jesus calls Lazarus by name into new life, into regeneration in John chapter 11. So to name and to call by name is a powerful, brave, and life-giving act reflective of the love of God embodied through Jesus. Why open and affirming? Why a statement? Well, because there's a difference, a true difference for me, between hearing everyone is welcome here and hearing you, Alicia, are welcome here. So I invite us to consider who our ministries and our congregations are naming and thereby intentionally welcoming. Who might we just be assuming will know that they can come along? Who is missing from the table? Because when all are at the table, we are better together.